Hello and welcome to our CLI Magic video tutorial. In this one I wanted to talk about a function uh, that I posted to the as an update a few days ago. The function is uh, the box function that draws an ASCII art box around some text like this. It was actually something that I lifted shamelessly off of uh, command line foo. A uh, user named Bartonski there had uh, posted it and it was popular there and when I posted it to CLI Magic it seemed to be pretty popular. A lot of people wrote me back and thought it was pretty cleverly done. Um, me too, so I thought I'd just go through and show exactly how it works. Uh, it's also a good way to see how functions work and how they can take arguments. So we'll start off by just, you know, let me say that do, like when you see variables like dollar one and here's dollar two kind of in a weird syntax there those are what are called positional argument variables like if I you know if I give a an argument to the box function dollar or the letter a will end up being uh, assigned to the dollar one variable and you know a B will get assigned to the dollar two so you can see how those end up showing up and how they get passed into the function. The first line I wanted to show you is not actually go sequentially through the function, but just start with the basics. You know, he echoes out the middle line here, and he basically just says dollar $C, dollar $1, dollar $C. Dollar $C gets set a little bit earlier by, by this, and this shows how you can specify that you want a variable in bash to be set to, you know, you can set to the second argument, or if that's not set, default to something else. So the something else here they use is an equal sign, which makes a good ASCII art border. So that's what, that's how the variable C gets set. And here he just echoes it out with a, you know, a, an equals and a space and then a space on equals to make the uh, left and right side of the border on the text line. And then, to get the top and the bottom lines going, he starts with a t equals dollar one x x x x, and that looks kind of strange at first until you realize what he's trying to do. He basically is just trying to make it so that the top and the bottom border are the right length to match up with the rest of the the ASCII art border. Um, you know, you have an arbitrary length for the the word that's inside. You can you know you can make it as long as you want and the top and the bottom border will get set to the right length. But, so you can use $1 to say, you know, t is going to be, basically, t is going to be the value of the top and the bottom border. So you need to start out with whatever the arbitrary length is of the string, and then tack on the length of these two, you know, side, left and right side borders, which is represented by two X's here and two X's here. You can mix up the X's anywhere you want and you don't even have to use an X. He's basically just trying to get a string to be the same length as what the top and bottom border should be. So then to echo out the top and the bottom border and get them to set to equal signs, he uses a substitution variable where he takes the T variable and he specifies that he wants Bash to substitute it um, uh, part of the string, and here he says a question mark, which is basically means any character in the string. He wants to substitute any character in the string with dollar $C, and dollar $C right before is set to an equal sign unless you give it a second argument. And so he echoes out the top border there and then the middle line with the text, and then he uh, specifies to echo out the bottom border, and that's pretty much how this works. Pretty neat. Okay, see you at the next video.